Darren Fink. We're with Transfiguring Adoption. We're doing another foster adoptive book review. Today we're doing another kid book review, and the book is called... What do you do with the problem? Written by Co Kobe Yamada. Illustrated a... by Mackie May Basum. I hope we got those both right. Let's read the inside cover here and let you give you an idea of what this book is about. What do you do with a problem, especially one that follows you around and doesn't seem to be going away? Do you worry about it? Ignore it? Do you run and hide from it? This is a story of a persistent problem and the child who isn't so sure what to make of it. The longer the problem is avoided, the bigger it seems to get. But when the child finally musters up the courage to face it, the problem turns out to be something quite different than expected. This is a story for anyone at any age who has ever had a problem that they wish would go away. It's a story to inspire you to look closely at that problem and to find out why it's here. Because you might discover something amazing, your problem and yourself. So Dalton, as we always ask at the beginning, what audience is this book written for? Ages 0 through 39. Ages 0 through 39? Why do you say 0 through 39? Because you like the story too, and I like the story, and that's between 0 and 39. Okay, so um, I wouldn't go as young as 0. Um, I would actually say probably ages 5. I would say you probably have to be in kindergarten at least to get the most out of this book. Um, early elementary, probably all the way up through upper elementary would be fine. So maybe 5 to 10, 5 to 11 maybe. So, or 5 um, to 12. Um, 5 to 12 might be pushing it, but definitely 5, five to, to 10. ish So is this written for foster families, adoptive families, or anyone? Everyone. This, I think it is. I think it's, this is written for the general public. Um, it's not specifically talking about foster care related issues or adoption related issues, but it is talking about what do you do with a problem and everyone's had a problem at some point. So it does relate to everyone and um, definitely for our foster adoptive families talking about what to do with that problem. As far as the illustrations, Dalton, what did you think of the illustrations? Um, as soon as the last book, they were really, they were very realistic and very nice illustrated. So they're they're done. I want to say they're probably done in um, colored a combat, pencil. Not maybe colored pencil, but they are done maybe with a watercolor and maybe a pen. Um, not really sure, but um, they definitely do have a stylistic um, tone all of their own. They really help the the story to keep going. They hold on to the emotions. They use the color to convey the emotions and move the story along. So um, the more that the problems are overtaking, you can see that it's not as colorful. And then as the boy is dealing with the problem and being successful, the more colors introduced to the story. So I really feel like the illustrations were great. Like they really kept the story moving along. Um, Dalton, what did you think about the story altogether? Did you enjoy this book? Did you get yeah. bored with it? I enjoyed it. Huh? And I think it should have a grade of five. So they, all of our kids, and I mean all the way up through our teenagers, seem to enjoy this book. Um, it does take you through with a boy that is, um, he's faced with an issue or a problem and he's and it keeps following him around and they use illustrative language um, and analogies uh, there's actually a personification of uh, personification of sorts of the problem where it's following him around and he doesn't know what to do with it and he's trying to get away from it um, and it walks you through like a whole series of him trying to figure out what to do and then him being successful at the end and discovering that there might be a unique opportunity within his problem so uh, this something that's unique too this definitely could open up some conversations, some healthy dialogue with you and your kiddos about what to, should they do with the problem, how should they treat it, should they be scared of it, should they ignore it. Um, you'll be able to dive into why you should or shouldn't ignore or be afraid of a problem. Um, yeah, just some healthy conversations. Definitely check out our website, transfiguringadoption.com. We already have some discussion questions made out for you, so if you don't have time or you just can't figure out 
how to get that healthy conversation started. We've got the questions there on the website. And we also have tons of other book reviews that you're going to want to check out so that you can find other books that relate to your kids and get the family, the uh, bonding and get uh, the conversation started in your family. So we hope this is helping you to nurture, nurture and grow your, your foster, foster or adoptive, adoptive family. family.